Good morning, Big C. Come and let you on the flip side. Roll. Amen, that's right. What's up, y'all? Big C here. And dude, look, I try to keep my head to the, to the plow wheel making money. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep all the women straight that I have. <laughs> And literally, some people keep, like, hit me up in the message box, like, yo, dude, didn't you do time with that Mac Montana? I was like, who? They said Mac Montana. I said, who? They said, bro, y'all need to check out his videos because he's tripping, talking about he's a money maker. And he ran the prisons. And I was like, oh, yeah, I did, like, four months in Santa Rosa prison with this fool, right? And I tell him, like, straight up, guess the thing about Mac, right? And he spells his name Mac, M-A-C, right? Everybody knows you spell it M-A-C-K, right? But I didn't know this until a couple of months into my bid. I was there for, like, crazy gun trafficking, like, you know, crazy stuff, like kilos of coke. And the point about I beat that rap, too. And literally, we found out. When I first met him, bro, he was bragging in the dorm, like, y'all gonna write a book. They were like, you gonna write a book. You gonna make a book, right? We're like, okay. He's like, but we're just gonna put like pictures in it of like guns and gang members and muscles. And we're like, he said like underwear and stuff. We're like, yo, bro, that's gay, dude. What? And he, and he's like, but we don't need to put any words or stories in there. That gets cumbersome. We were like, cumbersome? Bro, what does that even mean, bro? So literally, we're like, we're, we found out he can't read or write. He can't read or write. And so that's why he's wanting to put pictures in there, like dude's underwear and stuff. But so we, we got past that. That's why he spells his name without a K. The dude don't know how to read or write. But that's fine. Like, I don't judge it all as an OG. I love everyone the same. Not the same. I like my solid Caucasians the most. But that has nothing to do with anything. Love is love. But the point is this. When I first... I remember when I was in Santa Rosa, it was when a hurricane had come through, right? And this dude, Mac, had talked about, yo, I'm, I run the yards, I'm a gang member. Dude, he was straight PC most of the time. But before he went PC, literally the only way he's ever made money in prison was he was a candle. And y'all be like, yo, how are you a candle? <laughs> this is really gay. Straight up, he goes, goes like this. The hurt, all the power was out in the prison. And people like, y'all, man, straight up, the TVs ain't there, da 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 We can't see the cards. We're playing cards, gambling, smoking K2 in the dorm and stuff like that. Chain gang. So he gets his idea. He's like, yo, bro, I, I could be like, do you need a light? I'm like, bro, I don't smoke that mad K2 in the dorm. He said, no, a light so y'all don't play cards. So we see him at this table with these black dudes, these gang members and stuff, right? And he's laying on his stomach, like completely naked, looking like a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? And he has these little toilet paper, and he rolls it up into, like, a whip. And he sticks in his butt, and they light it. And literally, imagine these dudes, like, yeah, man, let me get two suits, playing cards. And there's Mac Montana on his stomach with his butt up like this, and there's a toilet paper thing, like a whip, and it's got a flame on it. And they're like, Mac, don't fart. And literally, two dudes got uh, second-degree burns because that dude kept farting and stuff. And so, literally, he lost his job being the candle for, like, um, all these dudes playing cards. But that dude, that's the only way he made money. But this is the most embarrassing thing about Mac. This is embarrassing. He used to brag. Like, he said, yo, look at all these soups in my cell and stuff. And he had, like, stacks of soup, like, hundreds of soups and stuff, right? And, and like, these... Uh, coffee containers and the coffee looked funny though but we're sitting there like this but before all this he's bragging about being a baller he was like the store man and stuff like that he's sitting there and like he would go around to people he going through the trash getting empty soup you know the soup has the wrapper that the stuff's in and he'd be getting empty uh coffee cans and stuff like that we'd be like what's up with that bro he's like i care about the environment all this stuff like i saw a whale get beats one time and it was like it was traumatizing we were like that's gay dude but anyway, he was gathering this up. Well, we found out what this dude was doing was taking toilet paper, and he was sticking into soups. So literally, he didn't have one real soup. He just had a bunch of toilet paper stuffed in these empty soup wrappers. And every time people are like, yo, let me get like a soup. I'll give you two back. He's like, man, these are all spoken for. I'm like a shot caller, da 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 Nah, bro, he had toilet paper, some of it, because he, he didn't have real, you know, Toilet paper to like stuffing all those. So when he would wipe his butt, dude, he would just stuff it in there. And this one dude came in, like he was smoking K2, and he was like all twacked out. Like seriously. 
And he got one of his soups, and he dumps it in there, and he's stirring it. Everybody's like, oh, what are you doing, bro? Because we'd already exposed him as, you know, being the fake store dude and stuff. Just a goofy homosexual. And the dude starts eating. He's like, bro, this tastes like booty. He's like, yo, bro, that's the poopy toilet paper. That ain't soup. And he just starts twacking out and stuff, like throwing fists and stuff like that. And that's the truth. The man had, he would take empty soup and stuff toilet paper in it, bro. It was crazy. Straight up, dude, it was crazy. He would get dirt out of the rec yard and put it in there and make it look like all these cans of coffee. Man, that, I was just like, bro, you pathetic, bro. And he always, you see him on his channel looking all weirdo and stuff, saying, I went in the closet and it was like, you heard these tennis shoes scuffing up? Bro, he went in the closet four times, but there wasn't no fighting going on. Straight up. They called that date night in the Florida prison. Because he'd be like, yo, let's go, let's go with TOH, TOH. And you hear, oh, mmm. It was like two like rhinoceros ramming into each other. And literally, he locked it up after that because people are laughing at him. So, bro, that's the straight truth about Mac Montana, bro. That boy was PC for most of his sentence. That's the truth. At Santa Rosa. The few months he was out, man, he was had all that soup of toilet paper in it, bro. Man, that's crazy, bro. So I'm so tired of all these dudes that ain't real OGs, ain't real shot callers, getting on here, doing all this rah-rah. And as an OG, it's offensive to me. I ran the California prison. I ran almost every prison out state I've been in. It's over, uh, I think it's like 26 states. Like three prisons in each state. So I'm going to start just like handling YouTube business. Just handling, putting people out there. Because I'm tired of it, bro. You giving the prison genre a bad name. Plus, you got them ears that make you kind of look like a vampire. Seriously. That's the truth. That's what make people uncomfortable. You'd be up in your cell at the PC yard. People like, yo, it's a bat in there. And they would hit the window. He's like, no, it's just me. It's just Matt. People like, yo, dude. That's pathetic, bro. That's the truth. That's the honest truth. But what the weird thing was, the guards loved him. He was always like, can I tell you something? And the guards would be like, what? He'd be like, he was always whispering the lieutenant's ear and stuff, bro. It was gay, dude. So, and he called himself the CEO. Yeah, CEO of toilet paper and the soup. Like, in one of his videos, you see these cars and all this paper on the floor? Dude, he, what he does, he charges $5 to clean a car out, and he takes pictures acting like those are his cars, bro. And he's a janitor and stuff in offices at night, and he'll throw paper on the floor out of the trash can and be like, yo, I'm a businessman, bro. You know that, that maid, uh, Louisa, exposed you for that, bro. She said you're in there sniffing stuff, too, in the women's bathroom, you pervert. Man, that ain't cool, bro. So straight up, OG, the judge OG has laid down his law. That's right, dude. And there's no appeal in it. You ain't no CEO. You a PC. A PC ain't the same thing as a C. You the CEO of the PC unit. Real talk, bro. Real talk. Stay sober out there. I hate to come down hard on people, but, bro, my OG's starting to come out again. Ooh.